Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Better South. And if I'm smiling like it's Christmas morning, we're doing a little bit of trim work. And yes. that is one of my babies. I cannot wait to show you guys just a little taste of what we're adding here to Edgewood. Yeah, we're excited to be adding trim back to the walls. We, we are not doing a ton of stuff, but I think enough that, you know, it, it's gonna make it unique and, and feel special to us. Yeah, this house had oversized moldings, mm -hmm. uh, but not a ton of them. So we've tried to keep with that uh, tradition. Yeah, I did, I, I reeled him in a little bit and didn't <laughs> let him go too the hog, hog wild on the, on the trim. One, because of the timing, and two, because of the budget. Yep. And it really, it's such a beautiful home with tall ceilings. It doesn't need a ton of trim. Yeah, the character speaks, speaks for itself, so. Come on inside, guys, and let's uh, give you a little peek into the new history of Edgewood. Yes. If only all trim piles looked this pretty. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to have to move because I hear some hammers in the background, oh, and we awesome. need some of this I'll stuff. I'll be happy to become a trim <laughs> carpenter for the day to get this project rolling. Yeah, so as soon as this pile goes away, that's a good sign for you, right? Yes. Bring I, on the painters. Yes. Uh, but come on in guys, I, I think the guys are putting up some trim, maybe we'll see, uh, see what they've got going. Yep, um, okay. Well, you know, here, from what I can tell, this was kind of like the end of the old house, and somewhere early in the 1900s they did this addition back mm -hmm. here. Um, so we've added this opening into the kitchen. So and I just want to speak to this, because I'm so glad we did this. Originally Jason and I had planned on this had two separate powder rooms, a his and her powder room and a, I guess they split the difference and there was an opening to the kitchen in between. Originally we had drawn up to just wall this entire space off just so we could maximize the amount of cabinets that we could get in the kitchen. But I, then I felt a real disconnect from this part of the house to this part of the house and I said, I, I just hate that you're gonna have to go through the family room to get back into the kitchen again. So I'm high five that yeah. we, had that you know well, moment of where let's go ahead and just have a smaller opening and we shifted it down so it's going to make more sense on the kitchen side and some of the thought processes we go through as we're trying to decide where to put trim and paint and drywall and wallpaper originally we were going to carry the mural from the foyer into here mm -hmm. and then we decided not to we were going to do a big trim wall decided not to so we're just keeping it drywall and what are we going to put here so in our house we live in now I had framed all these family pictures in these gold frames and for it to go up our staircase in a pretty gallery wall. So we got four of those hung <laughs> and Jason got frustrated. So the rest of the gallery wall never got hung. So now he won't have to climb on any crazy ladders yeah, with I'll scaffolding. And one. so we're going to put all our family pictures on a gallery wall on this wall. And I'm excited. Now we have wedding photos yeah. since our oldest got married. So All right, enough sentimental. Let's talk trim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So when we came back with the trim, you know, this trim is, you know, some of it's 150 years old. So they obviously don't have the exact profiles anymore. And sometimes it's costly to cut a blade or knife to mirror that. Mm -hmm. So we found some that are very similar, slightly modified it. And, you know, if you look at this casing we've done, we've actually mimicked the, I think they call this a dog ear. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a more architecturally correct term, but I call it a dog ear. And it, it gives it that sense of history that blends with the rest of the house. But one thing I really like about this transition right here, one is the size of the baseboard. It's probably 12 inches. Why don't you uh, Oh, this doesn't it. work. It's just for show. All right. <laughs> Did you get that out of a gumball machine? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Everybody, yeah, I got a few comments. <laughs> Cell phone builder doesn't know how to use a tape measure oh, or whatnot. Yeah. So. Let's see. Let's see if All we can right. use Let's it. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> All right, so about 11 and a half inches. So okay. pretty, pretty nice. Pretty substantial. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, casing wise, we're about a little over six inches. So, but one thing that I like to do when I'm designing new houses that I think gives it a sense of looking like an old house is instead of just doing a two by four entryway into another room, I've increased this, so all right, let's get this. You can this see thing his eyeball. Look at his eyes; they're really twinkling when he talks about <laughs> trim. He doesn't get this excited about many things. So we're 36 inches wide. So we paneled this out, and we've actually done a three panel that matches some of the interior doorways. But the kitchen's on this side, so instead of seeing the return 
on the kitchen panels. They'll die into the wall so you don't have to see that nasty end panel. And then you can see the pretty trim work. So again, I think it's just a way to add a little bit of history to a new home or an older home. And it's, that's kind of, you know, I think your design that you implement a lot in your homes, which yeah. is cool. And then even we even had room to sneak a panel up there. So this might be one of my few places that I got to do some major trim. Uh, yes. But it still keeps in touch with uh, with the history of Edgewood. All right, you want to show them some other yeah. trim that's so going in? Let's go in the great room and show them where we opened up into the kitchen and how we treated that opening. Okay, you guys come along. Oh, the family room. Oh, <laughs> I'm so glad we opened up that wall. I know it was a hassle, but oh, look yes. at the connection it I makes know. to the kitchen. And I think we're really going to utilize this space as our main family room. Oh yeah, this will definitely be the heart of the home in this area. And I'm still good to have a big TV in here? Yes, yes you are. <laughs> Any stipulations I need to know it about? It just has to be able to be covered and closed when not in use. <laughs> okay, so I think, you know, the design is we're going to have, you know, a nice built-in on this wall. Maybe a 60, 70 inch TV, possibly. <laughs> And then we'll, we'll put some, some type of doors. We'll figure out a way to put some doors on there to close the TV so when not in use, you don't see it. Yeah, um, I'm but, good with that. But I think, although we've got, gosh, all right, I'm gonna pull the tape measure out one more time because <laughs> we have 11 and a half inch baseboards in there, but the baseboard in here is 19 inches tall. I know, it's, it's such a shame that they painted the stripes green and white to cover up the big baseboard. I know. So, I think we'll paint from here down because it's it's all wood. We'll paint that white and make make that baseboard really shine. Yeah, we want it to be prominent and yeah. So we'll have to cut out a little bit of it about this, but I think we'll end up with like a 12 foot long entertainment center in here. Mm -hmm. Lots of clothes storage. Some open shelves too though for family mementos, things from our trip so we travel, pictures, yeah. tchotchkes, you know, all those necessary things. I know you'd love to talk about paint. Would you paint this white or would you maybe paint it a different color? So I think we're saying that we want to, because the walls in here are going to be repost gray and uh -huh. I think we're going to paint the entertainment center navy because we've got a lot of navy going on okay, with the house. Okay, so time with the kitchen. Yeah, and maybe some wallpaper in the back of the bookshelves. So, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So, we can talk a little bit about this transition as we walk into the kitchen. Uh, this part of the house did not have that dog ear style on there, so I just kept traditional straight up casing. And I couldn't make this opening any taller because I had to put that big LVL up there. So this yeah, was as support, tall as we could go. That second but floor. I like all my, when I can, the headers to match up in the room. So we just put a little piece of trim here. All that will get painted white and I think they'll flow very nicely together. Yeah. So I want to show, we're repurposing one of the old doors that used to go into one of those bathrooms. So. I want to show you guys how we're repurposing that door. Awesome. As we go, I mean, we still got, I still, every are, day walk past those windows. Are the cabinets windows. in yet? <laughs> not yet. We got a few more weeks. <laughs> got to get the trim in and whatnot. So um, I want to show you guys. Oh my Lord. Can you get it there, Hercules? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a door. Guys, not only can he handle a tape measure, but he can actually pick up heavy materials too. <laughs> so this door, I, we saved every door we took out of here. I've been piling them in the garage. Right. I didn't know what to do with them. Um, Still has the beautiful original hardware, which we love, crystal knobs and the brass. I mean, you just can't, you can't find this anymore without spending an arm and a leg. So I had made the opening. I had envisioned a taller door going into our powder room, mm -hmm. but this was the only door that fit size wise. So we made it work. So I brought that down, but I'm actually gonna do a transom out of wood over top of there to get oh, that height a little bit. This is new better. to me. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, I love it. That's what happens when I'm here by myself. <laughs> so I gotta find some ways to incorporate that trim. But guys, <laughs> this door, so we've created a new jam. We built this just out of stock material but it still has some of the some of these cool features and it even has a hook on the back of awesome. that door. Awesome, and I, so. I, you know, we'll, we'll keep all that. Yeah. Just paint it navy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it will be painted navy. So anyway, I just thought that was a great idea to repurpose some of that. And 
I think it saved us money. I don't know. It's probably more effort to do all that on site. No, but. and I, I love that. I love that we can keep as much of the existing home as possible. Yeah, so. I think it's cool to tie that in. So, and as you're behind, we've already cased out our big giant sliding door yes. out to the outside. Kept it very simple with, again, this room had a little bit different trim than what was in the front room and the family trim? room. <laughs> It was just flat stock, yeah, so yeah. we've just offset the top maybe a half inch, uh, give it a little bit of reveal, a little bit of dimension. Uh, but I think you know, I think it looks good and it'll fit our kitchen. Yeah. Uh, they haven't started yet on the tray ceiling, so yeah, um, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for for that. Jason we've got and uh, Gretchen dreamt up a pretty cool yeah, uh, idea. Yeah, one of our uh, nightly brainstorming. Yeah, it went something like this. I gave like six suggestions. And then Gretchen's like, oh, those are great, but let me show you what we're doing. And, uh, and I really like it. I think you it turned out. It. I yeah. do love it. I think it'll be good. So. We uh, have a nightly presentation of ideas <laughs> yeah. at the Black so House. It's good. Uh, anyway, I have enough rambling about trim. Do you want to yeah. go uh, see if there's any painting going on? Yeah, might as well. You guys want to check out and see if any paint's on the wall? <laughs> We're doing a little bit of, you know, with a renovation, you can do things a little bit backwards, so. And see, I'm like, bring all the subs in at once. <laughs> Gretchen wants them all in at once. I'm like, well, I gotta finish the trim before well, I get painters Well, what's that show in. that Ty Pennington was on? I mean, they built a house in Extreme like. Extreme home makeover. Yeah, seven days. I yeah. mean, Ty, where are you at? Bring that bus. <laughs> yeah, Ty, come on, I, I'm ready. Uh, turn, turn over the reins, so. No, let's go see if we can find the painters in action. All right, so speaking of paint, I can't wait to paint this green staircase white. <laughs> But unfortunately, we got to go all the way up to the third floor because that's where we had to start with the paint. We are definitely going to get our steps in in this house. <laughs> I'm so. glad Noah decided to put his room up here. And yes. Out. Yeah. So here we go. Heading up to the attic space. I can smell the paint. Yes. Are you out of breath yet? Uh, you're going to have to do the talking <laughs> on this section. Well, we made it to the attic, a.k.a. Noah's domain. Yeah. It must be nice to have your own little loft space. Yeah. So. At some point, this third floor was, I guess, made into a finished attic space. Yeah. And I mean, I think they did a nice job, but we did make just a few changes up here. One of the biggest changes that we made mm. was we took this wall down. So it really was at one point four separate rooms, but we wanted this yeah, to be a kid friendly. To, I think it's a bed and breakfast. No. I, they, <laughs> They had a lot of guests yeah, up here. It, yeah, four bedrooms, two bathrooms That's up here. That's why we had all those water heaters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so we, we completely just opened this space here so that Noah and Max could come up here, hang out with their friends, because we are losing a finished basement yeah. that in, we had in our previous house. So we wanted the boys to have a hangout room with a sectional and a TV that the friends would want to come over here and hang out. Yeah. One thing I wanted to share too is when we took this wall down, you know, it always creates new issues, but the ceiling heights were actually a little bit different. So, and, and there was, instead of going through a ton of expense, had the drywall guys just float the two together. So yeah. you, you got that little point here and it, it'll just, just be a memory. Just charm yes. and character. We added, added a lot of character to Edgewood. Yes. So, uh, but yeah, we'll have a TV there, and I think it'll be a fun space. Yeah, so we kept the, the walls light and airy. Noah picked out nebulous white. That was the color he went with. Who's it from? Here. People are gonna ask. Sherman Williams. All right. So, and, and I think it's the perfect color up here. The trim is pure white. The walls are just a real soft, subtle kind of blue-gray. Mm -hmm. Very, very soft. And, you know, because there's, there's no recess lights up here. We can only depend on the sconces that'll be on the walls, and the windows are small and squatty. So he wanted a light space, so and that's why we went with a really light color. What a difference it makes already seeing fresh paint on the doors, on the walls, and on the it trim. It kind of smells like a new house. I know. <laughs> uh, peek into the bathroom here and kind of show what we're doing to repurpose. Yeah, so again, Noah had a bathroom that really did not need a ton of changing. We are going to give him a new countertop. We are going to paint his vanity black magic, which is almost black, but not quite. He gets a new light and mirror, and then he's getting some wallpaper in here. So we've, we've kind of let him have free reign with his design, which is awesome because we love for our kids to kind of have that creative spirit that Jason and I have. Nicely done, Miss Black. 
Thanks. <laughs> you can't see the floors in there, but I know last week we talked a little bit about the hex. These, there's two bathrooms up here. They both have that small little yeah, white, the white hex that hex. we're gonna keep. Mm -hmm. And I think just that new countertop and paint will really freshen that up. Yeah, so a lot is going on here, guys, and we are excited. I'm excited to see, you know, the painters are here, the trim guys are here, tile guys are still finishing up some details. So we're moving. Yeah, progress, let's go, <laughs> woohoo. All right, by the pumpkin, it's it's almost Halloween. I guess we didn't make our Halloween, uh, not that that was a deadline, but uh, yeah, it's really a crucial time in the re renovation right now with the trim and we can really pick up some time by getting painters in here and yes. try to overlap some subs. and Yeah, hopefully they all uh, play nice together and can work <laughs> together. Yeah, I think they're doing well. And you know, the trim guys are just getting started this week. Uh, you saw a little bit of it. Maybe next week we can get some action of some of the built-ins going yes. and some and of the I, finishing details. I'd love to see more wall color going on that first floor, kind of covering up well, some I'd of those love to green. See, I, I did sneak in a paneled wall that uh, they haven't started yet. I had to get a special trim for that. So hopefully that'll be going next time we're back. So so are we keeping with our, our deadline that you told us that we were gonna make, which by the way was early November. So I'm just putting it out here. So it's documented, <laughs> Mr. Black. <laughs> yeah, um, this episode may never air. I don't know. No. <laughs> I, it's gonna. It's very tight. We've got uh, cabinets are in production. They're coming here, and I think a couple weeks. So we still have not found that island, the kitchen marble. So yeah. uh, assuming we do marble, we've been looking for yes. marble, but have not found that. So we really need to find that. Yes. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining us. We'll we'll keep our side banter uh, <laughs> off air. But uh, we're here at Edgewood. Just wrapped another great episode. Tons of great progress and. As always, thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos, ask questions. We really appreciate those. Yeah, we love engaging back and forth with you guys. Yeah. And you can find Jason on Instagram. He's at Artisan Signature Homes. And you can find me, I'm Gretchen Black. And thanks again. Bye guys.